Hello, everybody. This is Terry Matthews. I want to talk to you today again about healing, God's will, God's plan for your life. And I want to start with the scripture in Proverbs 17, verse 22. Listen to this scripture. A merry heart does good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bone. And then Proverbs 15 and verse 13 says, A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of heart the spirit is broken. You know, sometimes there's things that happen in life that truly really try to bring us down, hold us back, and keep us from receiving God's best in our life. So the enemy will use circumstances and situations, symptoms and fear and everything like that. But the good news is in our redemption, talking about what Christ did on the cross, shedding his blood, rising from the dead, victorious, there is a plan that he has for us to be well, strong, happy, and blessed. Hallelujah. Filled with the Holy Spirit, filled with God's plan and God's purpose. And so this scripture tells us, even though there are things that come to try to shake us up and hold us down. If we can take some medicine, <laughs> God's medicine, which he said, a merry heart is medicine, God's medicine. What does that mean? Well, it would mean laughter. It would mean singing. Uh, it, it would mean rejoicing. I mean, each one is in a different place in life, but I know this that in my own life. I've had symptoms come at my body. I remember one particular time I was I was on a plane flying to uh, Florida to minister in my brother's church, and symptoms started coming upon me, and I knew, wow, this is not good. And in the plane, you know, uh, it's a pretty long flight, but I just started laughing to myself before the Lord on this scripture. A merry heart does good like a medicine. Hallelujah. So I just started going, ha, ha, ha. Pretty quiet. Nobody could hear me. Ha, ha, ha. Just staying quiet. Just stay, you know, there's there's noise there. And I was just, I was just ha, ha, ha. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. I'm taking some medicine. I resist these symptoms in Jesus' name. And I take some medicine. And I was taking laughter is a medicine. Hallelujah. So I took it. Ha, ha, ha. And as I kept doing that over a few minutes time, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm just laughing. I began to sense my spirit begin to rise up. It was almost like I was, I was, I was getting full of something uh, besides the symptoms I was feeling. And I just stuck with it until that Holy Spirit power began to rise up and I could feel it just push those symptoms out of my body. Praise the Lord. A merry heart does good like a medicine. So that was taking some of God's medicine. I don't know. I don't know if anybody heard me. I don't think they did. But I wasn't doing it for their sake. But I was trying to be respectful. And I think I was. And But God heard me. The devil heard me. And healing came. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I remember another story about a, a man that... Um, you know, was healed uh, uh, from all kind of diseases, but some of the symptoms came back on his body. And he said uh, he just laid in the bed at night and started laughing. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Well, you say, Is that, does that really do any good? Well, yeah, because you are going through the motions uh, of laughing and you're taking medicine based on God's word. I'm, I'm being merry now. I'm, I'm being happy. I'm being happy because God's on my side. I'm being happy because the blood has been applied. I'm being happy that the devil is under my feet. And I'm resisting these symptoms in Jesus' name. And I'm just worshiping the Lord and rejoicing and laughing. And he did that for about 45 minutes. And as he did, you know, he, the devil spoke to him and said, what are you laughing about? And he said, I'm laughing at you because you said I'm not going to get my healing. The devil said, that's right. You're not going to get your healing this time. 
And he said, I don't have to get it. Jesus already got it for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then he went off to sleep, woke up in the morning. Every symptom was gone. I know this is really contrary <laughs> to the natural mind. How in the world can you laugh when you're not feeling well? Well, you can go ha, ha, ha. That's how you do it. Ha, 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 ha. I believe God. I resist the devil and he's got to flee from me. Now, I know life has, have, has challenges and it talks about, you know, sorrow of heart and, and things that, that happen to you that, you know, really are real. But even that uh, can be healed by the power of the presence of the Lord God. So I just want to encourage us to take God's medicine. Now, I'm not saying you can't take natural medicine, but at least take God's medicine too. <laughs> I would take both. <laughs> you know, Brother Oral Roberts, you know, he 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 was a great healing evangelist. And then he, he built Oral Roberts University, and he said the Lord told him to blend man's medicine and prayer. And you see those hands in front of his school like that. So uh, I'm just saying, uh, take God's medicine. It's perfect. There are no side effects uh, that are, are destructive. I mean, wow, healing, be restored, and health to be restored. And the devil will surely flee and run from thee. Go again, one more scripture I want to talk to you about that we mentioned before, Isaiah 35, 10. This scripture is so powerful. It says this, the redeemed of the Lord. Now, I, I'm talking primarily to those who are saved and know Jesus as Lord, but if you don't know Jesus as Lord, you can receive Christ today. He is the answer for your life. He's the answer for this world. And um, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And he died on the cross, took our sins and our shame, and he arose from the dead victorious over death, hell, and the grave, and the devil, and disease, and depression. Praise God. And you can receive him as Lord. You say, well, how do I do that? Well, the Bible says, believe in your heart that Christ was raised from the dead. Then with your mouth, you say, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord. That miracle of salvation takes place. Praise the Lord. But if you have been saved, God said there's scriptures to back up the fact that there's medicine in the word of God that you and I can take in the time of sickness, disease, challenge, fear, circumstances, whatever it may be, God's word works. Hallelujah. Look at this in Isaiah 35. It says the ransom, which is the Christian or the redeemed of the Lord. The word redeemed means those purchased by the precious blood of Jesus from their sins and uh, the, the old way of life. He said, the ransom shall return and come to Zion with singing or songs. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good thing to do. Say, so, well, I don't feel like singing. Well, maybe that's why you ought to try to sing a little bit. I, I got to sing an amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a man like me. I once was lost, now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. <laughs> I got to singing that the other day, just worshiping God, singing amazing grace. And that is expressing my faith unto the Lord. So we come with singing, with hope, with joy, with peace. He said, an everlasting joy shall be on their heads, and they shall obtain joy and gladness. Now that says to me, if we will act on what we can do, more will be given. In other words, we come with joy and singing, and then we obtain more joy, and we obtain more gladness. And as we obtain more gladness and more joy, the sorrow, the sighing flee away. The symptoms flee away. The circumstances have to change because God is greater than all, and he lives in you, and he lives in me. Praise God. Isaiah 61, notice what Isaiah 61 says. It says this, Isaiah 61, and I think it's verse 3. He says, to appoint to them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes. Now that's talking about joy for sadness and disappointment. Then he said, the oil of joy for mourning or for 
Again, sorrow, mourning, like crying or sad or sorrow, mourning. Then he said, the garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified. God has made provision for us. Praise God in every area of our life. And he's wanting us to receive his medicine that will bring peace, health, joy, forgiveness, and grace that will abound in every area of our life. Praise God, man, hallelujah. And the sorrow and the sighing will flee away. Why do you think the book of Philippians in the New Testament, chapter four, verse four said this, rejoice in the Lord always. <laughs> and again, I say rejoice. Well, that would mean in the time of conflict, in the time of failure, in the time of sickness, in the time of sorrow, in the time of whatever. God said, look to me. And one way we do that is releasing our faith with laughter, praise, and joy. Hallelujah. Praise God. And a little bit goes a long ways. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me read you something and we'll close here just a second. I want to read you something out of the, the Passion Translation out of this uh, uh, Proverbs 17 and verse 22. Listen to this. A joyful, cheerful heart brings healing to both body and soul. Pretty good, right? A joyful, cheerful heart brings healing to both body and soul, your body and your emotions and your thoughts. But the one whose heart is crushed struggles with sickness and depression. So I know there's some big disappointments that happen in life and some big challenges that come against us. But in the midst of that, we can still lift our voice and thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his love. Sing a song of praise. Laugh, ha, 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 and watch what he'll do. Praise God. I like what Psalm 30 says. It says, he has turned my mourning into dancing. You read that verse? <laughs> verse 11 says, uh, Psalm 30, verse 11, thou has turned for me my mourning, my sorrow, the word mourning, sorrow, into dancing. Boy, that's, a, that's another thought, isn't it? Wow. I mean, to just get up and start dancing before the Lord? <laughs> rejoicing before the Lord. Somebody said, well, I can't even get off the bed. Well, wiggle your feet, wiggle your toes, do something. Hallelujah. Lift your hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just trying to get us to take medicine. Medicine don't do us any good if we don't take it. You know, even in the natural, you, you can have a bottle of medicine, but if you don't take it, it won't do no good. So God's word uh, has medicine for us to take. And um, the medicine we're talking about today is this merry heart of laughter, joy, and praise. And he said, you have turned my morning into dancing. Hallelujah. Maybe some of y'all ought to dance a little bit today. <laughs> and thou hast put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. What? Thou hast put off my sackcloth. What does that mean? Well, the sackcloth would represent the sadness, the sorrow, the uh, symptoms. Praise God. He girded me with gladness to the end that my glory might sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Hallelujah. Let me read that in, in, the, in the Passion for you just real quick. Look at uh, the Passion in Psalm 30, verse 11. Listen how he said it to us. It says this, Then he broke through and transformed all of my wailing and sorrow into a whirling dance of ecstatic praise. <laughs> he broke through my sorrow. He broke through my gloom. He broke through my sickness. And he turned my sorrow into dancing. This says into an ecstatic dance of praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then he says this, he has torn the veil and lifted from me the sad heaviness of mourning. He wrapped me in the glory garments of gladness. 
I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider has he thrown into the sea. What does that mean? The sickness, the sin, the bondage, the fear has been defeated. Jesus is Lord. So take your medicine today, begin to laugh, and watch what God will do. See you next time on Healing History.